Jesus' name. Out! You demon. Same year. I didn't even practice long. Three months into it, I left. My only problem that I have a problem with is that at home, you know, um, you know, when you come back, after they do that whole, you'll have a hut where you, there's a room that still has those things. And the reason why it still has those things is because um, the church that I used to go to, my pastor had said to me that I mustn't take them out on my own. I need a pastor. Or, 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 or someone who was. So why did you go with you then? I don't know. He had said I must, I must, he, you, I must he'll make time, and it didn't happen because he said even if I remove them physically, I must always know the spirit will be there if I don't remove them with someone who is um, yeah, so now stronger than me. The problem is not that you are tired. Mm. So I'm praying for you now. The problem is that you still have. They are still attached to those things. Mm. They are still at home there. You see that? Mm. Uh, but I believe the blood of Jesus will set you free. Mm. One of your biggest enemies now mm -hmm. is fear. Yes. You know, the reason why there's a high blood, you become afraid when there's no need to be afraid. You, know, you can be afraid, you find fear just comes to you very quick. Mm. And you don't understand why. Mm. Why was I afraid? Mm. And that's why you're sick. You hear that? Mm. So uh, let me pray for you. This weekend, it will be a weekend for you to pray. All the spirits that will leave you. So. this woman. Hurry. 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 You're wasting my time. Hurry. In the name of Jesus. No? What are you doing here? No? Where's that ammo? No? Where's that? Fire! All over your body. Fire! All over your body. All over your body. All over your body, you dirty spirit. Fire! Fire! 
the name of Jesus. On those legs, first. In the legs, first. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Soweto. The reason why I came to Cherry's um, one-on-one today was because I was not feeling okay. I came to the church having an attack on my on my heart. Um, it's a problem that started over the past three weeks, but I was I couldn't breathe at times. I had uh, chest pains this morning when I actually came to uh, the one-on-one so that's when i made a decision that i need to see the man of god um and that is why i i I came for my one-on-one today a lot of things um we were were just not going okay so me my health was just one of the things that were not okay um the man of god even in the one-on-one said that um, everything has been taken away from me and that's exactly what's been happening. I lost my job. I I lost uh, the father of my kids, not to he's alive, but I lost him in a sense that he's in prison, so I'm not with him. And um, so I felt alone and I was now getting, uh, um, being, I felt like I had a lot of depression and which is also what the men of God picked up that I'm carrying a spirit of depression and this spirit is the one that is now beginning to affect my health. Um, so this is, this is if it's blocking everything. So my relationships, I don't have a relationship. I'm raising two kids alone. I don't have a job. Um, the situation at home, no one is working. So it, it's very hard. It's, everything is just difficult to get by. So um, everything for me to make this decision to come to the one-on-ones because it felt like everything is just not working out. The devil 
this was just blocking everything. Um, so today I got the opportunity to meet the servant of God. And during my one-on-one -on -one session, um, before we even started, he had already picked up that I suffer from the spirit of depression, um, which was, he was very true. He said, I, um, I, I become fearful even with things that shouldn't fear me or that I shouldn't fear because they are nothing. But because I'm carrying this spirit, I, I tend to just become scared and panic about everything. And this is why it's beginning to affect my health. Um, a prophecy that, that he also made is that um, to, in 2013, I got initiated as a traditional healer. Um, and so some of the, th the, 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 the curse that I was carrying was that I'm still, somehow the spirit is, is I'm still carrying it. And which is what um, is causing all of this. And which is true because I did get initiated. And um, even when I, um, I would pray, but I would feel as if I'm still carrying this burden of the spirit with hence the blockages with everything in my life being blocked I, I i i felt like it also came from the spirit which is what the man of god also confirmed that i'm carrying this the spirit i feel relieved i feel relieved um or during prayer he asked me to put my hands on my chest because that is where i was experiencing sharp pains so basically my attack was there I was experiencing sharp pains and so he said I should place my hands there and as he prayed for me um, I felt something uh, overwhelming a spirit that was so heavy because when you're caring when you're depressed your chest is what becomes heavy so when he started praying for me I felt I felt something moving from there and now that um, I feel delivered I feel free uh, it, it feels lighter than what I came the chest pain that I was feeling as I was sitting and waiting it I don't feel it right now anymore uh, words of encouragement I would say give your, your life to God because my session with the, the servant of God that is the one thing, the most important thing we did to re, um, I don't know how to put it, but to, to give my life again to Christ because I thought I did, but it's clear that I was carrying still these spirits with me. So in my session, we, 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 I gave my life to God again. So what I would tell other people is that give your life to God. When you place everything in his hands, everything works out for the good. God always knows how to save you, provide for you, and he'll always be by your side. He'll never leave you, nor forsake you.